another week, another spy situation with China. No, it's not about sp- Chinese spy balloons going into the U.S. airspace or anything, but rather the opposite. USA and NATO lapdogs going into China. You'll never see this on fake news Western media, who's actually the mouthpiece of the military industrial complex of the USA and NATO lapdogs. So this article here from GBA Community states on WeChat says, Foreign organizations, illegal flight data collection devices seized. So on Chinese uh, social media platform, there's a bunch of flight enthusiasts. I don't know what type of hobby this is, but apparently there's a lot of people in China doing this. And also in Canada, USA, where you track flights and ears ears drop in communications between the pilot and air traffic control at various airports. So this article says Chinese security agencies have cracked down foreign organizations that have been recruiting Chinese enthusiasts in mainland China by giving them free equipment. Uh, as they're recruiting these people as volunteers as entertainment because these people are interested in tracking flights and they give free equipment sent by DHL, FedEx, UPS into China. And without these uh, people's uh, being uh, aware of what's happening, these equipment, the equipment that they turn on, and uh, it's like automated, and it tracks uh, air flight data, both civilian, civilian, and also a uh, military aircraft around China. It could interrupt uh, traffic control between the pilots and the air traffic control communications with the tower and it's just ears dropping on people and these people did have to get punished because they're just being ignorant and stupid too when you accept equipment from foreign countries that are act that have the potential to uh, track military aircraft, which they did, which these equipment were. Just use your brain, people. If you get stuff from like the United States or NATO lapdog countries, it's obviously going to be bad because why would they give away expensive equipment for no reason? So it says the foreign organizations were found to be looking for targets among aviation enthusiasts on video sharing platforms in China. And it's an international courier services like DHL, FedEx, UPS, you know that stuff. And the devices enable the automated collection of aircraft information. And uh, each of these devices could transmit flight data from approximately 1,000 aircraft and around 130,000 location data points per day with a uh, with a coverage radius of 300 to 400 kilometers so this is serious stuff try walking 400 kilometers or even driving 400 kilometers so yeah these people uh so it says the ministry also warned that the theft espionage bribery or legal provision of data related to national security and interests by foreign organizations institutions or individuals or collusion with domestic organizations institutions or individuals constitute espionage under chinese law so this is just something imagine if it was the other way way around government of china or someone from china or whatever sent some free radio equipment to aircraft enthusiasts in Canada, USA, uh, that just would not work. And But apparently the USA and NATO lapdog countries of the USA think it's okay.